Good afternoon. Thanks for coming to my session. Who likes certificates in VMware? I don't see any hands. Yeah, it's still a little bit difficult. VMware made it easier with the VMCA, but it's still a little bit tedious. But you did your homework. You read the blog posts that are out there. You read the VMware knowledge base articles. And you went to replace your certificates your VCA, on your VCSA, and you, you boinked it. It failed. So why? That's what we're here to talk about. Hopefully, I can share some information to prevent that. My environment, I'll share, is uh, that I used. I used the embedded VCSA, no external PSC, vSphere 6 update 1B. I have an internal two-tier two PKI Microsoft, offline root CA, and an online sub CA. And then I chose to use the VMCA as a subordinate. So you go through the process, select number two there on the VMCA, the PSC, to replace the certs. You go through the process, and you have to log in with the admin at vSphere local account. And then what are you presented with? You're presented with all the config file information parameters. So that's fine. You have about six of those, five solution users in the machine SSL user. So you get that done, and you then submit your CSR that's generated to your CA. You get your cert back, and then you do the import, and it goes through the process. Everything's looking good. You, uh, you see from the output there that everything is replaced successfully. The services are stopped, and then they're starting up. And then the very last thing, what happens? See the item in red there next to the name parameter, the vpxd-extension service fails to start. So what happens? Well, that's actually it, the name parameter. Several blog posts that I've read and um, nothing definitive in any of the KDs or the, the user security guide, the user guides, said that you needed to change the name parameter. And actually, if you remember back in uh, vSphere 5 days, using OpenSSL, you kind of had a different you kind of had to have a different name for each of the services that you replaced your cert with. So I believe that is exactly the same thing that happened here. So I pinged out on Twitter when I was having my issues, and Adam Eckerly pinged back uh, a response and shared with me a blog post that actually wasn't the similar um, issue that I had, but the uh, resolution was a similar thing. So what do you need to do? Oh, and by the way, the seventh and eighth option on the VMCA, that didn't work. So after I, um, my VCSA got hosed in my attempt to replace the certs, those two issues or options didn't work. So um, that was just my problem um, in my environment, I mean. So what do you need to do? On the second bullet there, basically just change the name parameter for each solution user or the machine user to make it different. So for example, vpxd-yourdomain.com, vsphere-client.domain.com, or dash-domain.com. So just name the name parameter different, and then the rest of the information could be the same. Go through the process again after, of course, you've restored your, your vCenter appliance or you've reverted your, to your snapshot. Hopefully you took a snapshot before you did all that. Um, but just go through the process again. Do a different name parameter. Submit your CSR. Get your cert back. Import it onto your PSC and go through the process again. And all should be good. So these, I wanted to share just a little bit of information. These are the KBs that I used. And again, I just wanted to give Adam Eckerly credit. He actually did a, a session last last year at VMware with Ryan Johnson on certificates. I kind of followed that, um, that session as well. And there's the blog post that Adam shared with me, the reference on kind of what to do, what that user did in his environment with the issue he had with certificates. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to help you all out to uh, kind of prevent that issue from happening to you guys and wasting a lot of time in, in, your, uh, in your future. So. 
there's any questions about any of that, get with me, and uh, I'll try and help you through the process. Thanks.